Hello and welcome to Newsday with Jeff A. Hearn. I'm your host, Jeff A. Hearn. Today's top story. San Francisco's ruling board of supervisors has voted to let the city's police use robots that can kill, and not with kindness. This is a city that won't even deploy laws on its criminals, and now they're deploying killer robots on them. How come a city that is so anti-law and order is suddenly interested in the lethal version of it? It's all very confusing. But essentially, the measure allows police to deploy robots equipped with explosives in extreme circumstances. And a liberal San Franciscans outraged by this decision. Relax. If a robot killed one person a day for a year, it still wouldn't be as many as your liberal drug policies do. Police oversight groups urged the 11-member San Francisco Board of Supervisors to reject the idea, saying it would lead to further militarization of a police force already too aggressive with poor minority communities. So already, they're claiming the robots are racist. Why would they even install that chip? And why the concern about robots hurting communities of color? Worried it might break your party's monopoly on it? Sure, one of the killbots posted some racist stuff a few years back, but that was a long time ago, when it was still just a motherboard. The San Francisco Police Department says it has 17 robots, though only 12 are operational. I guess the other five just spin in circles, which is why they tell you not to download porn on them. Liberal opponents are worried this will normalize lethal responses from police, and they know a lot about the dangers of normalization. I mean, their normalizing of crime is why they need these kill bots to begin with. How funny would it be, though, if they left a bunch of boxes behind the police station that said Skynet? As we ramp up on the killer robots, just know, sometime last night, an old Amish farmer said to his wife, You see? Now blow out the candles!